What is going on people of the Smile Society? Matt here from mksmiles.com and in this video we're going to be talking about how to make your car a little bit smarter. So in this video, we're going to be switching up a little bit. Normally we talk about how to make your house smart, but in this video, we're going to be talking about how to make your car smart. Now I'm not talking about complete Tesla autopilot, self-driving, but just something that makes it a little bit smarter and makes your life a little bit easier when driving. So the product we're going to be talking about is the Fensense Smart Wireless Parking Sensor. So the way this video is going to work is I'm going to first talk about what this device is. Then I'm going to show you everything that it comes with. After that, we're going to install it, then put it through a couple tests. And finally, I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the device. So this is the Fensense Smart Wireless Backup Sensor. And so what this does is it tells you the distance between uh, your car and into whatever you're backing up or if you mount this on the front whatever's in front of you and so what this does is it connects to your phone and then you can see all the d data from this on your phone the link to this product as well as anything else I mentioned will be in the description below also in the description below check out at MK Smart House on Twitter Instagram and snapchat because that's where I give you updates and as well as things that only a true smart home enthusiast would enjoy now that we got the general overview of the device let's go ahead and dive into what comes in the box with it. All right, just as a little disclaimer, I have already opened the box and I've actually been using this product for a couple months now. So everything may not be in the exact spot that it came with. All right, so first let's take a look at the box. On the front, it has a picture of the device. This is what the mobile app looks like. It's compatible with iOS and Android. Uh, just says Fensense turns the average license plate frame into an ultra simple smart parking sensor. And then on the back, it just has some what's included, specifications, a little picture of the car and what it basically does has a one-year warranty then on this side it's wireless five months battery life installs with five minutes with a screwdriver this is actually correct uh, in hands-free alerts that's also right fast app launch works in extreme weather conditions this is also true and that's I will say that their packaging I was absolutely shocked at how good it is like it's just such an enjoyable experience which we'll do right now so first you just slide it out of this blue paper and then you lift this up and look at that you're greeted with a nice white paper that has your booklet and so this basically tells you everything about the device every single feature every single possible way to install it all the different like how the technology works it's really cool like I mean look at this first diagram it just makes it so simple to install put that off to the side lift this piece of foam and you have everything that you are going to need which look at this it's all nicely cut out i will give them that their packaging is incredible all right so first up you have your tap button so you can attach this to the steering wheel you tap this and it launches the app put that there and then here you have your magnetic holder so it comes with two plates here's one plate and then the other plate is attached to my phone and so what you simply do is you stick this to your phone you peel off this white thing and then it just attaches to here and then you put this in your vent so you can just easily take on and off your phone from your car uh, next up we have a bunch of screws so it comes with screws some of these screws are actually uh, some of mine that uh, came with my previous license plate frame but anyway most of the screws you see here come with the device I will say though the the screws that came with it didn't work for my particular car um, so I had to use the previous license plate screws that were on my car none of these work all right and then next up right here you have these uh, screwdriver or Allen keys, but they're not really Allen keys because they have more stars or more points. So anyway, you have tools to use these screws on your device and your car. And then here, uh, in here would be your batteries, but I already installed them. Let's see anything else. Nope, that's it. And then we finally have the actual license plate frame. And as you can see, mine has a couple scratches right here. But other than that, for the past couple months, it held up very, very well. All right, let's put the box off to the side. All right, let's take a tour around the device. So on the front, you have the Fensense logo. 
and then in this part right here is the actual modules and brains of the device and then down here you have a cover which you would lift off and your batteries would be in here and then you have your two sensors one right here and one right here which uh, connect to here but all of that is internal so we don't need to worry about all you really need to know is your batteries are here and your sensors are right here and then you also have your four holes to mount to the car if your car has four mounting holes my only has two so i only use these top two right here then on the bottom and sides you have nothing and then on the back you have nothing that you really need to worry about all right let's go ahead and get this connected to my phone all right so i got everything all set up and connected i have connected this device and this device so when I press the tap button, what I've noticed is that it doesn't actually open the app. It gives you a notification, which you can then click on the notification that'll open the app. I guess that was their way of thinking, which is still easier than um, tapping on the actual app and finding it through your phone. And so also when you tap on it and you're in the app, it'll take you directly to the parking. So right there. All right, so let's go through the actual app. So on the front, you have your home screen. So this one gives you some quick shortcuts to go to Apple Maps, Spotify, Pandora Radio, Your Mechanic, and AAA Mobile. And then if you click on the settings, you can see whether you get notifications, vibrations, uh, you can manage your clearance. So how far away from your bumper. You can uh, do the volume. You can manage all of your different devices that you have connected, your sensor plates, your tap buttons, and your setup guide. And you can also change your password and log out, all right? And then here you have truck version, so it'll invert the sensors, and you can check for updates for the app. But let's go back to parking, so we can actually tap this button. It'll take us to home, and then we can go to our parking. So this is the screen that allows us to get the information from the uh, license plate frame. So I'll put it right here. I have it pointed up right now. It captures some of the camera. So I'm going to get it away from any obstacles, have it pointing towards the back wall. And now I'm going to put it in front of my camera and it all goes away. So what we're looking at here is the distance. So I'm going to do it at max distance right now. It'll go to green and that means there are no obstacles and there's also sound. So if you tap this, the closer you are to an object, I'm going to get my hand closer and now it thinks that we park. Let's go back again into here and see if I move my hand. It adjusts accordingly on the picture. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna slowly go down. And as you can see, the bars change according to distance. Let's turn off that annoying noise. All right, now that we've gone over the app, let's go ahead and install this on the car and get some real world tests. But before we go and do those tests, I'm gonna take the little a metal piece and I'm just going to slide it into the back of my phone. I'm not actually going to attach it. So now when I go and attach this in my car, it'll just stick and then my phone will be attached. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and install the license plate. For my own privacy, I have removed my license plate and I'm not going to be showing it during this video. But the first thing you would do is remove your license plate. And for me, my car only has two screws. And so I'm just going to need a Phillips screwdriver one screw removed and there we go I have removed two screws so now I'm going to take I would take my license plate and put it in between and then you just put the screws in and attach it to your car and that's it the frame is attached and the sensors are connected I want to take a quick break from this installation and give a quick shout out to smarthousesociety.com SmartHomesSociety.com is a clothing brand that I started so people like me who love smart homes and are smart home enthusiasts can show their pride to the entire world. Uh, if you use the promo code ELITE, you can get 15% off your entire order. So you're getting good quality clothes and products for a good quality price. You can pick up a hoodie like this one that also says ELITE on the back. This one doesn't say ELITE but it'll say elite member. So you can show everyone you're an elite member of the Smart House Society. I have hoodies, t-shirts, polos, hats, you name it, it's on there. So go check it out. Link is in the description below and get 50% off using the promo code elite. All right, so next we're going to take the tap button and install it on the steering wheel. I'm gonna put mine right here. You just have to open up the clip and it sits right there and you can just press it right there. All right, so next I'm going to take my phone uh, in one of the previous clips, we put the little magnetic circle. I'm going to move the circle here, and then I'm going to attach it to a vent right here. 
Perfect. All right, and now I can open up the app and it's already starting to work. If you click this, you'll hear the beeps. Awesome. All right, everything is installed. Let's go ahead and do some tests. All right, guys, so for this first test, what I'm gonna be doing is pretending as if I am driving into the garage and I'm gonna see how close I can get to the back of the garage. All right, so I've enabled the audio, so you should be able to hear it beeping. All right, now we're going to go into reverse. And it should start beeping. Oh, all right, it's starting to beep. All right. It's saying we're getting close. All right, it's in the red. So as you can see, I didn't even need to turn around and it all worked. All right, let's see how we did. Turn off this audio. All right, so this is the audio from the back camera. So yeah, I think it worked pretty well. I, I still had some room to go, but it was in the red. But overall, first test, it handled pretty well. I mean, it was pretty easy. It just had one big wall. Now let's see if it can see one little tiny pole. All right, so the goal of this next test is to see if it can see that little tiny pole back there. Let's pop it into reverse and check it out. Okay, it's seeing something. Oh, it disappeared. Let's go ahead and tap the button again. Oh, oh I forgot to turn on audio. All right, it's beeping. All right, we're at the red. Let's go and see how close we are to the pole. All right, guys, so I ran out of storage on the other camera that I was using. I don't know how much it caught of me backing in, but let's go ahead and see how close we got to the pole before I got to the red. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. So to me, that's, that's fantastic. So this device was able to see this little skinny, tiny pole with these sensors. So... If you you were backing into like a pole, let's say at a parking lot, you would definitely be, this device would definitely be able to pick it up and tell you when you're getting too close. That's, that's awesome. So I think this device passed and can see anything that you throw at it. That's awesome. Fantastic. Those are the two tests that I had for the FenSense and it passed fantastically. It basically did the two things that I would want to do. I would want it to tell the distance behind something big and behind something very, very, very small. And so those those were two simple tests that I had that came to my mind. But you could also mount this to the front and do everything the same thing. So you can see if there's distance in between a small pole like that in the front or in the back. And yes, you can have two of these fence sense. You can have one on the back and one on the front, but I only have one on the back. So what are my final thoughts on this device? Well, I, I think it's a fantastic device. Uh, instead of paying so much for parking sensors, uh, to have them installed aftermarketly, drill holes into the bumper and stuff like this. You just have one little license plate frame and it works, I bet you, about the same. And it costs a lot less and you don't even need any wiring, you just need your phone. So I think this device is very well executed right from the packaging all the way to the app in the installation process. You just need to remove two screws on the back and the app shows you the distance in colors and it also beeps at you. One of the main benefits of this is it allows you to be more precise with parking. So you can back farther in into places where you don't feel as comfortable. So for example, a parking garage, you can go as far back as possible to minimize the risk that somebody um, drives into the front of your car. So like I also mentioned, this is cheaper than getting backup sensors installed at a dealer. This is just a one-time thing. You buy the device, it's pretty cheap for what it is and you just install it and you don't even need to go to a dealer for installation. So the one thing that I do wish this device had was an Apple CarPlay app. In my car, I have Apple CarPlay. So And so what that means is I can plug in my phone into the car and then I have apps from my phone on the car. So I can have like the phone app, the Maps app, even Waze has an app now. So there is support for third-party apps. And so I hope that FenSense in the future has an Apple CarPlay compatible app. I think that'd be really cool. So do I recommend this device? Yes, I, I recommend this device. It's fantastic. You can, if you're not so sure about your parking, you can just pop open this app and you can see how far away you are. And also 
see if you're getting closer to an object, even if it's a little tiny pole. So if, you, if you're interested, go ahead, pick one up at the link in the description. Also linked in the description, I have mksmarts.com slash shop, where I have a wide range of smart home kits and devices such as blinds controls, LED strips, door sensors, fire sensors, you name it, it's there. And if you sign up for the email list, you get 5% off your order. Uh, also in the description, what do we have? Oh, Smart House Society. You can pick up some stuff like this to show your smart home pride. Coupon code ELITE to get 15% off. And linked below, I have the forum, mksmarts.com slash forum, where if you want, you can talk about this or any questions you have. All right, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Or like I mentioned, head over to mksmarts.com slash forum. Goodbye.